So what's going to happen with the launch pads at the Kennedy Space Center? We found out that one pad already being recycled and some of it will be turned into sewer and water pipes. Sort of a fall from grace there for that launch pad. Fox 35's Daryl Nail is live at KSC tonight with more on it. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Bob, several months this project is lasting and they're taking apart metal like this, structural steel, 4,500 tons of it. This is from the launch complex 39B and it's headed to its new home, as you mentioned, underground. Throughout the space shuttle program, launch complex 39B is where massive payloads were loaded in. But today, giant shears are tearing apart this iconic launch tower piece by piece. A little bit sad when you gotta go and demolish something historical as, as this pad. In fact, Launchpad 39B's first shuttle launch was the ill-fated Challenger, but it also launched Apollo and test flights for Ares. 50 miles west of NASA, the 4,500 tons of structural steel is slowly being brought in one truckload at a time to 419 metal and auto recycling in winter spring. We get a call and we go pick it up with our trucks and it's brought over and dumped into a pile over here. It might seem like this metal is coming to an inglorious end, sitting here among old washing machines, steel drums, and every other kind of metal junk imaginable. But it's actually here that Launchpad 39B will begin its next life. The launch pad's beams and trusses are dropped into a massive bin where a 700-ton shear chops it into three to four foot pieces. It's then loaded onto a CSX rail car bound for American Cast Iron Pipe Company's steel mill in Birmingham, Alabama. A SIPCO plans to melt the space steel down with other scrap. Ductile iron pipes are made of 90% recycled metal. A SIPCO says that molten metal will be reformed into a new product, ductile iron pipe, which is used to move water and sewage. Better than being put into a landfill somewhere and um, being reused and back in the American society. Back at the Kennedy Space Center, the demolition slowly continues. And while the old steel's future as iron sewer pipe is secured, the launch pad's future still remains uncertain. You're looking at a newsletter from American Cast Iron Pipe Company back in 1969. A connection to Brevard, they actually laid sewer and water pipe here for the city of Cocoa Utilities, which feeds water and does the sewer for most of Brevard. And the Space Center. So it's interesting now that metal from that launch complex is headed back up to Birmingham to be refashioned into new pipe and taken to places where it's needed. Bob? It seems a little sad though watching something that was a big part of Apollo to wind up like uh, the metal you're seeing there. Did, did NASA save any part of that launch tower? Yeah, they sure did. They saved the white room, the beanie cap, and uh, other parts of it that they're going to now give to the visitor center. The visitor center has not put it on display, but they tell me tonight that they plan on using those items in a future display if they get one of those remaining space shuttles and get to put it on display. Yeah, I would imagine a lot of people are feeling a little bit nostalgic about every piece of NASA going on these days. All right, Daryl, thanks.